Hello there guys and gals, the Welsh Hunter here, back with yet another 100% achievement guide and this time we are getting it all in Trubebuk. This was developed by BTF, who later went on to become a successful Korean pop band. Wow. Published by Head Up Games and is usually available for quite a staggering £24.99 slash $29.99 but for the month of March 2023 is completely free with Games with Gold. So get it downloaded at the very least now. So we play as American scientist Hans Tannhauser, a very strong American name there, as he heads to small town Trubeburg, thinking he's won a paid vacation, but it's all a trick as some weird stuff is going down and he gets roped into doing stuff. Worst vacation ever. Now, <laughs> as for achievements, while there are a good few that are story related, there are also quite the number of missable achievements as well, wherein we have to choose specific dialogue options to get to, uh, the, the talking achievements, uh, we'll call them, to unlock, plus four papers we need to find, and 36 dictaphone entries to do as well. Plus there are a few miscellaneous ones too, like throwing a coin down a chasm, etc. But of course I'll let you know when we're there, and always refer to the timestamps too. So all in all, you're looking at roughly about three hours, maybe a touch, le uh, maybe a touch less to get this done. So with that being said then, let us begin. Oh wait, I, I meant to say, let's do it. Oh man, what the hell? So anyway, as we begin, we start off playing as Gretchen. Now this is the only time we get to play as Gretchen. Um, obviously, I will tell you the uh, controls and everything now. Obviously, left stick to move uh, your character, as is the per usual. So then, we can press the left bumper button to bring up the hotspots, which will be, look like red crosses, just in case you're wondering where anything is. Um, and obviously you've got the controls right there. So walk, interact, you can, uh, what we're going to do is if with the right stick, you can move your cursor and we can interact with things and obviously I'll let you know. So what we need to do is interact with the pipe here, just by the door. Now, as you can see on the left hand side, you've got, uh, four options. If you press up on the D pad and when you, once you put your cursor on something, um, it's, um, look, the magnifying glass, uh, press up on the D pad is to look. Press right on the D-pad with, with the finger. That is basically to use something. Uh, the left-hand side one is obviously to talk to someone. And the bottom one is your inventory, which, of course, you'll be using. So, again, you can use a D-pad. So, once you hover your cursor over something, you can either press up to look at it or uh, right for the majority that we're going to use it. So, once you've seen the key here we've kicked out, interact with the key. Then hover your cursor over to the red toolbox here on the bench. And then, again, press right on the D-pad to use it. And we will open that up, and Gretchen will get some rusty pliers. Well, better than a rusty trombone. Don't Google that. Right, um, now, if you press down on the D-pad, you can see that the inventory pops up. Now, if you're after specifically something, i.e. this door, um, the item that we need will usually be highlighted straight away. So, obviously, like I said, you press down on the D-pad, the key was highlighted, so you press down on the D-pad again, and that is, what th that is how you will use the inventory. Um, now you can just go in again. You'll have to interact with the door to go in, which is all good. Uh, okay, it's very easy all to get used to anyway. So, near bother, near, near, near. So, interact just by Gretchen's head there. It looks what looks like a picture or a painting. So, we're going to look at that uh, first of all. There we go. And she's going to be like, oh my god. Yeah, she, yeah she's not. She's going to say, whoops, a hidden switch. Yeah, very hidden y. So, from now, what we, what we can do is interact with this. So, again, we, I'll, I'll say interacting with it rather than using it. So, interact with it. That's going to turn it on. Now, have a look at this cup here on the table. Extra large. No extra large. No refill. I'm an extra large in gut size. Uh, from here, then, we can have a look at the postcards, which are on the back wall. So, again, interact with that. Again, by pressing right on the D-pad. So, every, again, every time I say interact with something, that means that you're going to press right on the D-pad. And every time I say look at something, we're going to look at something, etc., etc. So, from here, what we can do is have a look at the... Um, we're going to use the rusty pliers here on the wire, just by the door. So, again, you'll press down on the D-pad, down on the D-pad to get your inventory out and use it again. And now we can go back outside. Have a look at the freezer that we that is literally just to the right of us there. Now, what we need to do is, again, press down on the D-pad when you've hovered your cursor over it, and then press down again. That will use your drinking cup, your I-C-U-P. Cold as ice. Wait, no, no, don't take that the wrong way. Your I-cup on the white freezer. Now go and use your cup on the motorcycle there. 
So again, like I said, hover your cursor over, whatever you need, then press uh, down on the D-pad to use it. And for the final time then, we're going to interact with the fuel pajigger, the fuel McNobber, the fuel baba baba babs. And now after this, we can interact with the motorcycle and this will end the scene. And off Gretchen will fly high in the sky like she's dropping some acid. Oh, come on. Start already. It's that darn oil pump again. Looks like we'll be stuck here for a while. Hello, BTF Games. How is your uh, South Korean pop band adventure going? I hope it's going well. Uh, so this is an unskippable cutscene. Uh, the only thing you can do if you press E, you can um, toot the horn many, many a times. But this is it for the next few minutes or <laughs> so. Grande. So then we have almost arrived in Trubebrook, or I believe its actual pronunciation is Trubebrook. But for some reason, a lot of people think that Germans are just angry when they speak, so they think it's more like Trubebrook. I don't know why that's a thing, but uh, people have a look at German words, which are um, pronounced as something else, and they assume that every German person is just angry, which we all know is not the case. German people are the nicest in the world. One of the nicest in the world. Canada has obviously takes the, the number one spot for nicest people in the world. And uh, the UK, <laughs> well, we all suck a bit, don't we? Everyone in the UK, we're just, we're just pissed off with the world. But then again, we got the Conservative Tories in charge, so uh, <laughs> of course this country sucks. Right, anyway. So, dictaphone entries. Let me talk to you about dictaphone entries. A lot of them will be automatic. And you will know when you've got one because he will start talking into his uh, dick to phone. Um, and that's when you know you've got a dick to phone entry. So, yeah, it's fairly obvious, as you can see now. Beverly, I have a ride. So this is dick to phone entry one out of 36. Dick to phone has a, oh, <laughs> has a whole new meaning these days, as sadly many females DMs will know what a dick to phone is because that's all their DMs is full of. Phone to dicks, dicks to phones. Right, so what we could do, we can start walking just to the right. Um, you can press the right trigger in some scenes to go a little bit quicker as well. He kind of walks a little bit faster like he's crapped his pants, but that's fine. So just keep walking past everything again. And it's the same with dialogue. Some scenes you can skip dialogue by pressing the A button. Other times you have to listen to the whole dialogue. Not sure why, but it is the way it is. So we now arrive at the village of uh Walk and Dictaphone entry 2 out of 36 will appear. This is automatic once again. Seems a bit run down. I must say, Beverly, I absolutely fell in love with this town already. I also fall in love with run down things. <laughs> Maybe we got something in common apart from the massive conking nose. Anyway, what we're going to do, we're going to uh, head all the way to the right, ignoring old Foxy right there. Uh, sometimes, one thing I should say um, is the walking in this game is kind of clunky. 
Uh, as we go into the very right-hand side uh, door right here, again, you'll have to interact with the door in order to get through. But yeah, so sometimes uh, when you're walking, you can sort of just get stuck, and you sort of got to wiggle the um, uh, wiggle the wang about a bit, wiggle your wang on the old uh, left stick sometimes, so it can get a bit clunky. Um, it's probably the only bad thing that I've got to say about this game is it's just that the walking <laughs> can be a bit finicky, but apart from that, it is a very good game. So anyway, after all this bit, what, what we're going to do is just ring the bell once again, and then we're going to get a little surprise. Hello? I'm not going to give up. Good afternoon. How can I help you, darling? Um, there's a room reserved for me. You know the, the lottery? I won a stay over here. You won? How can you win a stay in Trüberbrook? Well, actually, I don't really remember. Oh, hello, hello, hello. What you doing? <laughs> what are you doing underneath there? I don't think I want to know. Um, right, so for the next couple of dialogue options, you can choose whichever ones you want. So basically, choose any options, and then after this conversation, we will automatically take a little trekky trek up the steps. So choose what you want. Ten houses. Oh, oh, Dr. Han. <sighs> Say, is it a quiet room? Seeking some peace and... Well, I'm working on a text. Text? I... In a broader sense, right now, I'm writing a pic- I've heard you arrived just in time for the big and- But apart from that, here's your key, Dr. Tenhauser. My if you don't mind, let's put it this way. I get the impression the season has been over for some time. just disappear with my paper so then after being robbed what seemingly looked like um, a ghost oh it was a ghost oh, it was ectoplasm not the uh, randy marsh from south park where he uh, had a computer all to himself if you know you know not that kind of ghost but anyway this is automatically dictaphone entry th three out of 36 so now we can uh, follow the illuminati yeah 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 uh, no we're just gonna follow the footprints we will follow them outside the door here to the left and then when we get outside, another automatic recording. And so that will be dictaphone entry 4 out of 36 when we get outside. After this bit, we're going to walk left to a little... Uh, walk to the left just a little bit until Gretchen appears. Eh, spooky. Is it a ghost thing? Or are we just being robbed because we've got a big nose? Night stroll. Someone was in my room. You only just got here and you already have secret admirers? No, it was a burglar. I think. Well, I haven't seen anyone sneaking around here. But if I were you, I would probably follow these somewhat extremely obvious footprints. You've got a point there. Please excuse me. Not that, of course, anyone who has a big nose deserves to be robbed. Nobody deserves to be robbed apart from bad, bad people. Um, by the way, of course, you can, this is, um, dictaphone entry 5 out of 36, by the way, as soon as you get up the stairs. And like I said, if you keep pressing the A button, sometimes we can get through the dialogue nice and quick. Other times, it just doesn't. So, I'm not sure why that is, but just keep hitting the A button every time you see some dialogue, just to get past it if you want. Uh, well, if you can, anyway. So anyway, like I said, we should be on dictaphone entry 5 out of 6. Now we can talk to her, our old Gretchy Gretch. Um... And again, choices, uh, dialogue choices do not matter, so literally pick what you want, and we will eventually team up for one hell of an adventure, guy. And that will end the prologue and unlock the Lazarus Incident achievement for us for finishing the prologue. 
It looks like he escaped with one, which incidentally, come on, you're a scientist. You're coming with me now and you're, who knows, maybe you'll even, the one with an interest in quantum, whatchamacallit, you scratch my back? I so what do you say? I... Are you ready to go? I'm ready to. The early bird catches the warm and all. We have to find a way up the mountain. It would be easiest if we used to. I reckon that's also what our friend... The cable car doesn't exactly appear to be in... Pre Don't worry, I'm sure I can fix this. So, does everyone feel nice, confident, happy, swinging? We should be good to go? Yes. So, well, let us crack on with it. And it's always nice when you don't have to pay almost basically $30. It's a good game, but oh, I don't think it's worth 25 quid, $30. It is just not. So, free with Games with Gold, we'll take that one. So, Gretchen is obviously working on the cable car here. We need to return to the village. But before that, what we need to do, we'll move the cursor to the mountains here in the far left. Again, sometimes the cursor can be a little bit finicky, um, but where it is right now uh, is on the mountain. So press down on the D-pad to get your inventory out and you can see where you had a recording. So you press, um, obviously down again to use the dictaphone and that will be six out of 36. Of course, this one isn't automatic. So again, we'll have to be careful with that one. So make sure to go into the far mountains, press down on the D-pad twice to record. Now we are going to talk to Gretchen. Now we're going to get one of the first um, talking achievements. So we need to say, I wonder what the interest the burglar has in my paper. And again, if you can, of course, get through the dialogue, then choose, so how long have you been? Yeah. Next up, we're going to choose, how did you get here? But then how did you get here? Individual travel. Oh, well, thank you very much, Greet Gretken. Now choose, eventually. Again, sometimes, like I said, I don't know why, sometimes you've got to listen to the old thing, but sometimes yeah, it is what it is. Now that you mention it... Tell me about yourself. What would you like to know? So you're from the... The United States... Where from... Woodenville, Washington. Hmm, never heard of it. Seattle. The rainy jewel. Oh, yes. I know the place. You've been to this. Yes, once. That was a few. Actually, I had come to New York. Next up, make sure to choose top option. Please go on. Now, obviously, by now, you would have known how to um, do that. You literally just point uh, the left stick at whichever dialogue. Sorry, I should have mentioned that earlier. But you point at whichever dialogue option you want. So you can't ever go wrong if you do end up spamming the A button. Dr. Schrodinger. Ah, of course. Exchange. You. Don't ask me. Interesting. So we're not quite done just yet. We are going to speak to her again. So again, hover your cursor over her and obviously press left on the D-pad to speak to her again. And we've got a couple of things once again to say. So about the cable car, dot, 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 dot. What, uh, and do you really want to go up there? So bottom option, and do you really want to go up there? And then it's going to be, um, what was it you do for a living again? And then it's going to be, what kind of cult is it you're looking for? So second option, what kind of cult is it you're looking for? And then for the next one, we're going to choose this cult. Were they dangerous? Dangerous. So second option, this cult, dot, dot, dot. Were they dangerous? Pretty dangerous. Uh, next up, we are going to choose, we might as well have a coffee before we leave. Yeah, because why not, innit? We've just been robbed by a ectoplasmic ghost randy marsh style but uh yeah might as well have a coffee next up choose i'll try to come up with something so it would be the bottom option i'll try to come up with something okay i'll try to come up anything and finally no thanks that'll be all folks anyway that will get you the road trip achievement for listening to gretchen's story eventually may take a second or two there it is beautiful Right, hover over Gretchen again, and again press down twice on the D-pad in order to record her with your dictaphone entry. Uh, so that should be dictaphone entry now 7 out of 36. And we've got a couple more dictaphone entries to do here. So, first of all, have a look at this big yellow frame that we are standing underneath. Again, do the same to record this. Press down on the D-pad twice. The local gondola lift hard cape, see the bit of blah, blah, blah. So that is number 8 out of 36. 
Now we are going to hover over the broken grey wire. So if you can see in the back right there, yep, yeah, there we go. So right in the back, right up against the rock. Make sure to get that dictaphone recording as well. The broken grey wire attached to the rock wall. So that is dictaphone entry number nine. Right, after this, we're going to head over to the right. We're going to hover over the yellow phone box. And again, do the same thing down on your D-pad twice. That will get you dictaphone entry number 10. And what it will get you as well is the Beverly achievement for recording 10 dictaphone entries. So, of course, if you don't have the achievement at the same point I do, you're missing one somewhere. So, um, obviously, refer to the timestamp. Right, have a look just above the phone box and you'll see another hex a little hexagon shape carved into the rocks. <coughs> uh, use the recorder there again to record dictaphone entry number 11 out of 36. And now we can just go ahead and grab the cardboard box just to the left of the phone box. Oh man, it's all kicking off right now. And now we can just head back down into the village, but we've got some phone dicking dictaphone in to do. So have a look at the sign here called Mobius Plast, which of course translates to something. Um, again, just record that one, hover over it and use that to record it. Of course, any German speaking Germans or any German speaking people will know exactly what that says. I don't, sorry. And next, uh, the guest house. Um, the guest house sign, make sure to record that one as well. That's going to be dictaphone entry 13 out of 36. So again, use your dictaphone entries on both of the signs that we see here. The one in the Modias Palast and the guest house. That is number 12 and 13. Now we can go ahead and speak to the Baron here. Baron von Duschnozzle in the wheelchair. Now choose, I've been wondering about that cable car. Able car, and apparently he's all pissed off and he's just fuming about a table. Fair enough, right? So now we're going to head inside the guest house. Now, apart now, just as well as the um dictaphone entries, we've got papers to find as well. There's only four in the game, which is good. And the first one is on the left hand side chair right here, so you need to look at it in order to collect it. 998 years of trouble, which is just it's. By Major J, Mayor J Bioshock. God damn. Anyway, that's paper one out of four. Pick up the coaster here from the table as well. So interact with that. And now we can go ahead and talk to Truda. Now, what you must do is not report the theft to Truda. So just pick the same dialogue options I do here. So do not pick the top option. We're going to choose this establishment you call your own has quite the charm. Quite the smelly charm. Then choose your daughter really likes watching TV. Don't you all? It's a great escape from the crappiness of reality, isn't it? Uh, and playing video games is the same as well. Top option now. How's the season going so far? Season? Now choose what happened to your brother. And finally, we're going to choose. I feel ready for a beer. And fair play to old uh, Conknose right here. He gets it down him. Damn! Must be stressful coming to a nice quiet village and chilling out, huh? Must be real goddamn stressful. Although I assume being a quantum physicist may be a bit stressful too. So you may have to move there to see the beer, but again, interact with it. Obviously, as I said earlier, interacting with things means pressing right on the D-pad. And there we go. But what you will notice is that a coaster dropped on the floor. So make sure to pick up the coaster, hover over it, Interact with it to pick it up. So that should be two coasters we've got. If you want to check what you've got in your inventory, by the way, press the right trigger and a bar will appear at the top. So talk to Trude again and say, can you tell me something about the old cable car? Next up, choose who is Baron von Sultz? Exactly old crispy bacon head. Now choose what were they mining for? So, top option, what were they mining for? What were they mining for? An old silver mine. So old silver mine. Was it full of silver by any chance? Uh, choose, why did they shut down the mine? Because it's mine, not yours. Now, we're going to choose, what's with this mysterious company? So, when it appears, top option, what's with this mysterious company? Now, choose, what became of the miners? Well, they grew up and got proper jobs, didn't they? <laughs> Terrible. Anyway, what became of the miners? 
Then we're going to choose, would you wrap the whole story in detail for me again? So the top option and just slam through everything again. And for the final two, I've heard enough. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. I've heard enough. And last one. Goodbye. Goodbye. And then what that will do, will that will unlock the family business achievement for listening to Truda's story. Right. Walk over to the right, interact with the TV here. And you're going to start a conversation with Trude's daughter, Lenny. Not Lenny. And for this one, you can choose absolutely any dialogue options you want. So pick and choose away. Doesn't matter. Uh, but after the conversation, you will unlock the uh, Star Cybernetician achievement for listening to Lenny's story. You bet I am. My name is Hans. Hey, Hans. I'm Lenny. My mom... 70,000... Is Berlin also in Star... Close. Omega 4. So you know the. You bet I do. Star cybernetic. And what do you do for a living? I'm a quantum physicist. Quantum. Anyways, I'm going to. Only Commander Aurora can. So, do you Bellinellians have any special power? Can you make things disappear? If you're referring to. You're saying a lot. Stay tuned, folks. My uncle knew how to. I also know where, but I'm. Your uncle? Wizards? So... And finally then, that should be the end of that. But before moving on, when the achievement unlocks, we're going to hover over Lenny again. We're going to uh, uh, press down on the D-pad twice in order to record Lenny's secret. And that this should be dictaphone entry 14 out of 36. So that one is all good. Now, as you can see, just past Lene, on the right-hand side wall, is a buffet table. A very small buffet table. I'm going to need a bigger one. Um, but anyway, there's a couple of things we, we need to interact with, and it is quite easy to miss some. Um, oh, a secret stash, huh? <laughs> well, hmm, well, if it's the graphy of the Norp type, then I am in. Plus, if you've got some, you know, gin and some whiskey and stuff in there as well, it's a pretty decent stash. Um, right, so head to the right-hand side here and interact with the can which is on the floor. Yes, Just chill in, random can, all good. Now, you have to be quite careful with this one in order to get the two dictaphone entries, but you see how all the food's highlighted? Yep, yeah, right now. So now we can, now we need to actually press uh, the record. So record this bit, which is the dictaphone entry. This will be number 15 out of 36, plus it should get us the wrapped in plastic achievement. Um, you can also interact with it as well. So interact when all the food is highlighted there. Interact with it, and that should get you some kind of thing. Yeah, a carrot. Now, there is also... Um, they kind of look like carrots there, but it'll be highlighted on its own, as you can just see. So one of them, the, all the food is highlighted, and then you've got the sort of carrot-looking orange things in the front, which will be highlighted on its own. When you've done that, then make sure to um, record it, which will be dictaphone entry 16, and make sure to interact with it as well to pick up. Um, they say a worm, but as it turns out, it's a um, maggot. So, uh, yeah, pick up the maggot there. So, again, you should have two dictaphone entries and two, um, two inventory items from both of those bits of food there. Otherwise, what we can do, we can now take the stairs up to your room. To do that, you've got to actually hover over the stairs and then interact with it. So it was a cheese skewer, by the way, not a carrot. Um, <laughs> close enough. Right, so interact with the towels here on the right-hand side of the door. That will be collecting the old uh, the old stainy stain rags. Interact with the carpet now in the middle of the room. I'm going to kick that out of the way to find the hidden stash. So now we can actually interact with the hole to collect some snappy schnapps. Loads of useless junk. And an almost empty bottle of schnapp. Next up, if we have a look underneath the bed, uh, we will collect what the game calls a massage rod. But, um, well, if you know what that looks like, you will pretty much know that it is, uh, I mean, it's less massage and more higher. E. Yeah. Anyway, we're going to uh, stick to calling it a massage rod because uh, YouTube will ban me if I call it anything else. Next, have a look at the mouse hole just underneath the desk. And now what you're going to do is actually record that as well. So you can look at it first, and then it will give us the option to use and record 
So we are going to record this. So after you picked up the massage rod, quote unquote, uh, look at the mouse hole and then uh, use a dictaphone with it. Now, it's not included in the tracker, but it does count towards the final dictaphone achievement. So that's why it is highly important to do that. Then we can interact with the window there above the desk. Uh, and all we need to grab is just the clothes hanger in front of us. Uh, we don't need to be pervy that much and try and go for the uh, ladies' undergarments. Because, of course, that will get you arrested. And although apparently there's only a couple of people here. So, uh, well, I'm just joking. Right. Clothes hanger it is. Don't go stealing ladies' underwear, everyone. That's a life lesson. Again, full of life advice, I am. So once you've got the clothes hanger, uh, press the A button to back, uh, back, back in, interact with us, and we can go and grab the clothes hanger now from the wardrobe here on the left. Sorry, I'm a, a little bit behind there. My apologies. So that should be two clothes hangers you've got. Now we can exit back down the stairs via the door. Uh, more things. I, get, I don't know where the hell he's sticking this, but interact with the fishing rods just behind Trude. Now, we're going to be doing a bit of a swap here. Um, we still think it's a massage rod, and Trude is like, oh my god, I, <laughs> I thought I lost this. So we do actually need to uh, hover over Trude, and we can go ahead and press down on the D-pad twice again. Like I said earlier, usually... <laughs> Mate, that sounds... <laughs> A bit less massage and a bit more high -y. But yeah, as I said, when you need a specific item for a particular person or something, usually it will be highlighted straight away. But you can just press right or left on the D-pad anyway. Uh, so say yes, of course. And Truda's going to be <laughs> extremely delighted, apparently. While we will also be kind of delighted because we got the fishing rod we need. Again, where he's putting it, I don't know and I don't want to know. And we can head back outside to the left. So before speaking to the Baron, we're going to use both the coasters. They should both be highlighted right there. So just press down on the D-pad twice. That'll stop the table from wobbling. What's this? And now we can go ahead and speak to Baron von Schnolchenschmalch. And again, it is one of those achievements where we're going to talk and pick specific dialogue options. So first off, you've got yourself a nice spot here. Hopefully he weren't pointing to the one on the end of his nose. People get very paranoid about that, you know. Uh, now choose, are you from around these parts? Top option, are you from around these parts? Uh, next up, do you have any friends or family? Second option, do you have any friends or family? Uh, next up, choose, who is Claus? Is he Santa or is he the fish from American Dad? Who is Klaus? Next up, second option again, was Claus abducted? Yes, he was abducted. And he had his bowels shocked. Oh, sorry, just thinking of South Park, that's Santa Claus again. What kind of a strange place is this? Third option, what kind of a strange place is this? Next up, do you still have the key to the old cable car by any chance? So bottom option, do you still have the key? Next up. Uh, could you tell me something about the cable car in this town? Second option. Could you tell me something about the <sighs> And then next up again, what's with the cable car? Second option again. Next up, you ran a mining business. You. You ran a mining business. Sure, you never have. You or what is wrong with the 60s in Germany, Baron. Uh, who are these maniacs you're referring to? Sorry, a bit of a Simpsons quote there. <laughs> Next up, what do you mean they destroyed everything? They destroyed my life, my soul, my butt. Um, please go on will be the next option. Please go on. And two left, and we can finally end this massive conversation. These must have been difficult times for you. So bottom option, these must have been difficult times for you. And finally, we can say goodbye, my lover. So say goodbye, and that will get you the patron of Trubabrook achievement for listening to Baron von Schnulchenbag's story. So what we're going to do is now head all the way to the left and basically exit out of the village. So walk all the way left. Again, remember to use the right trigger to walk ever so slightly, <laughs> like you're going to need to use a Tesco slash Walmart toilet. 
so what we need to do now, we're going to use the recorder on the fox in the tree. So hover over the fox. And then again, obviously, if you need to, obviously go press down and then right or left to whichever inventory item you want. Obviously, we needed to press right and then you press down again. Uh, that will be dictaphone entry 17 out of 36 uh, for recording the fox in the tree. So now we're going to go ahead and grab a couple of tings as well while we're here. Why not? Why not rob everything while we're here as well, huh? So, um, go left slightly. You can see the bunch of reeds sticking out just to the left of the tree. We're going to interact with one of those to collect. Meow. Meow, meow. Uh, as it turns out, foxes don't meow. Or do they meow? Hmm. No reaction. I'm, I'm second-guessing myself, no. I'm questioning myself. No, foxes just go, Mah. Or, no, what's that song? What does the fox say? Ding, 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 ding. No, let's not. Let's not sing that. That annoyed the crap out of everyone. Let's not, um... Let's not bring that back up. So anyway, once you have interacted with the reeds and you've grabbed one of them, we can now go ahead and use the fishing rod and the worm on the wooden pier. So hover over the wooden pier, and then, of course, the uh, the items should be highlighted, which will be the fishing rod and the worm. And after this, we will basically end up catching a can opener. What the? Uh, I mean, all that effort grunting and falling on your ass just to catch a can opener seems kind of uh, pathetic, right? Anyway, once you've got to grab the can opener, make sure to re-grab the fishing rod, which is just near the boat, so we can recollect that one. And now we can use the towel that we grabbed earlier on the boat. So again, hover your cursor over the boat, press down on the D-pad, should be um, the towel right there. Again, if you want to use your inventory from the top and drag it down, press the right trigger, and grab it from the inventory right there. So after this, what we can now do is use the three set of items on clouds. Again, they should all be highlighted. So you press down on the D-pad twice. They should all be highlighted. And basically, Santa Claus is going to come down. And we will walk towards him. And we'll have to run off to the right. Hmm. I came here for a vacation, man, not to rescue foxes and stuff. God damn it. So what we're going to do now, we are going to have a look at the suit of armor directly in front of us. What we need to do is use the can opener on it. So, bam -o! And that will break incredulously, or incredibly. Next, we can use the recorder on the broken armor to record dictaphone entry 18 out of 36. So again, uh, dick... <laughs> Put your, dick to, put your dick to your phone and record that entry. 18 out of 36. Right. Now what we can do is use the can on Santa Claus to lure him out of the gap right there. You can obviously see where he is. So hover over him and again use the can of whatever we got. That is going to lure him out. And then after this, what you need to do when he does come out, go ahead and use the cardboard on him. Mel Gear Solid. Fuck style. We win! We win! Yes! Right, now what we're going to do is interact with the armor pieces to wear said suit of armor. And then you're automatically going to walk over to the right and up the steps.
Right, so while Gret, so while we've been <laughs> wondering about, what we're going to do now is interact with the grey uh, cable there on the back wall. So while we've been messing about, Gretchen's still been pretending like she knows how to fix that box thing. Um, so there we go. We have now reconnected it. We will now be returned to the village. And that is the suit of armor. Well, that'll do. It's close enough. It's close enough. Right. So walk back to the right. Go up the steps again. And we're going to walk towards Santa Claus again. And then we're going to walk towards him to the right again. And he is going to basically turn into fox meat. Zzzz. That is not looking good. Now, I think he passed out. My assumption would be in real life, he would be turned into um, a couple of KFC burgers. But um, yeah, anyway, you'll be able to pick him up anyway after interact with him. So now we can walk back down the steps into the village using Klaus on the Baron to return him. And we will unlock the Ode to Claus achievement. Is this by chance? Oh! My, where have you been? You look exhausted. So, once the achievement has unlocked, we can now talk to the Baron. And we're going to say, Would you mind lending me the key to the old cable car, please? Second option. I need it. I mean, he's an old man. It's not like he's going to run after you, is it? You could have literally just, you know, not, not that I condone robbing um, old people in wheelchairs, of course. But we could have literally just stuck around in their pockets and run away. But there we go. So we've got the key now. We're going to walk back up the steps. We are now going to use said key on the box that Gretchen is having a little blast around with. Don't worry, I'll just do it. You just sit there pretending to know what you're doing. I've just... I've just done everything. I've done it in 40 minutes as well. Well, about half hour probably. Anyway, uh, now once that is done, we're going to use the two close hangers on the cable above us. And that will end chapter one. Unskippable cutscene will appear. Um... And also, you'll get two achievements here. So you'll get the Welcome to Trubabrook achievement for finishing Chapter 1. And as long as you didn't call the cops when you were talking to Trude earlier um, about the theft, you will get the A Matter of Perspective achievement as well. And Chapter 2 will begin. In case you manage to find a way, see ya! So we're going to start off in the dark, just chilling. We're not going to do anything until scene ends and chapter two begins. So do nothing. 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 Hello? Fascinating. Next circumference. 39 centimeters. Heart rate, 66 steady. So he's uh, Dr. Uh, Dr. Van, whatever his name is, is going to speak. And then eventually, as you can see, once the cursor is uh, has appeared, we can use that on ourselves. So we need to hover over Tannhauser and just interact with, uh, interact with him a few times, basically, until he wakes up. Uh, so as soon as we wake up, there's going to be some more dialogue. But again, the answers do not matter. So once we're awake and we're going, what the hell? Choose what you want. Choose have a little uh, gander around. But yeah, nothing matters for the moment. Unclear. Where am I? Patient has regained consciousness and appears responsive. Excuse me, please. Could you tell me where I am? Patient's orientation to person, space, time, and dimension remains unclear. Uh, I have to ask you a couple of questions. How are you feeling? Ouch. Who are you? I'm selling these fine massage rods. What are you doing here? The original idea was to go on vacation. Assuming you knew, where have you been born or assembled? Assembled? Have you ever had a déjà vu? I think I've had it with you. 
Have you ever had an out of body experience? You are going to have an out of body experience in a moment, pal. Interesting. Please remain prepared for further examinations. Are you even listening to me? I'm afraid we can't let you leave until we have verified your right to stay. It's for your own safety. Just knock the door loud and clearly when you feel able to undergo a few more experiments. I'll be there to pick you up. The patient's status remains unclear. Uh, I'm feeling a little dizzy. Ooh, Dr. Rimmler. Oh, what are you doing, Dr. Rimmler? <laughs> anyway, automatic dictaphone entry here. This should be 19 now out of 36. Um, so, yeah, let's get the hell on out of here, boys. They think we're an alien, basically. That's, that's what it is. So, we just landed from the sky, somehow didn't die, and they think we're aliens. That makes sense, actually. So... First of all, we're going to interact with the skeleton here behind us. We're going to shove him straight underneath the bed sheets. There we go. That's job done. Next up, then, we're going to go to the right and interact with the shower curtain here. Let's open that boy up. Is anybody there? Psycho scream. Boop, boop, boop. Nobody's there. Right, okay. So interact here with the tap in the shower. And basically, he's just going to say, oh, it's blocked. Fuming. Now we're going to interact with the shower head itself to go, uh, to get a coin. This will come in handy for two achievements later on. So what we're going to do, have a look at the ladder here, the obvious looking ladder right in the middle of the room in between the bed and the shower. Uh, so you need to look at it and then we're going to use the ladder in order to get up to the barred window over to the left hand side. There it is. So use that then once we've picked it up, use it from your inventory there on to the wall. And once you've finally gotten over, interact with the actual barred window itself. And of course, you're gonna see that it ain't gonna work. So now we will be able to use the coin to unscrew said window. Come on, old chunky nose, let's do it. Right, there we go. So now we'll be able to use the coin. So use the coin from your inventory there with the bad window. And then we can interact with the ladder once again to climb out of the cell. Let's take a little trek downstairs. Not a lot going on here in Paradiso. That's about as less paradise as anything. So have a look uh, just in front of the counter here for the big lamp. You wouldn't assume it's a lamp, but it is a lamp. So make sure to grab that one then. And then what we can do is walk back upstairs, uh, not going through the cell window. Luckily, again, there's a ladder just on the other side for us. But we're actually going through the door on the left-hand side. So it's just underneath my little Welsh hunter sign, but head through the door anyway. And now what we could do, have a look at the left side of the room. You can look at and read paper number two out of four. Dinosaurs in Trouba Brook. Uh, and when they say dinosaurs, they basically mean just old people, real old people. Whose opinions are not wanted. I'm just joking. Old people are cute. Right, we're going to walk out of the balcony on the right hand side. There's a roll of foil. Um, it's basically just looks like it's in a bowl, so make sure to interact with that to collect that. And then we can just exit this room by walking over to the right, and we're going to head back to our cell in the hell. Hell in the cell. Okay then, few things to do here. We're going to hover over the hatch, which is of course between the ladder and the door. Obviously you can see the sparks from it. We're going to use the roll of foil on it. That'll sort of basically fix it or something. Um, and then after this bit, what we can do then is just walk over to the shower. There we go. So now we can walk over to the shower. 
and on the back wall, just next to the shower head, is a bit of writing. We can't actually see it in the dark. We've got to look at it first, um, which we obviously can't see, and then we can go ahead and use the lamp. So obviously go into your inventory again, of course, and we're going to use the lamp on it. That's going to light it up. Look at the writing again, and it'll read the numbers 5078. Well, thanks, I guess. Well, that'll come in handy now, I bet. Right, so, interact with the ladder once more to back out of the window. And this time we're going to walk downstairs. Again, I say this time, we'll do it again. So walk back downstairs. And you can see the wall safe, which is just behind the desk right here on the left-hand side of the screen. Uh, that's a door with... That's not what we're after. There it is, the wall safe there on the left-hand side. Um, so again, you don't actually have to do anything. You've just got to press down on the D-pad twice to get the combination, which again, of course, was 5078. And then after this bit, Mr. Dr. Smashy Smash, Dr. Rimbags will appear and you can just choose any conversation option dialogue to proceed. Interesting. These seem to be the medical records. There you are. You must be lost. I just needed to catch a breath. No more lame. We are going. That slumber morale smoothie sure made me dizzy. Right then, so these are just basically a bunch of tests. So what we can do now, when we do get control of Tannhausen Schrausen, Will Common. There's got to be a guy called Will Common out there, isn't it? Hey, Will Common. Anyway, once you do regain control, we can now go ahead and speak to Dr. Rimbags. And what we're going to do then is, um, well, just choose the same specific dialogue options that I do here. So, first of all, you're going to choose War, which is the bottom option. Next up, you're going to choose Cruelty. Which is the bottom option again, so cruelty. cruelty. Are you sure? And then for the third option, choose a butterfly. So second option, choose a butterfly. Butterfly. Have you ever been bitten by a butter? Remark. And we are done counting in the benefit of the. Next up is ranging from one. So for all of these self-assessment questions, there's only four, but you're going to just be picking the top option, which is number one every time. So just choose one every single time. Enjoy. One. I don't care much. Good question. I'd say I often get the one or two. Thank you. Next, we are going to show you a few colors. Let's begin. And we're back to choosing dialogue options again. So choose exciting. Exciting, like a tingly tingle in tingle pan. Next up, choose boredom. Top option again, boredom. Boredom. Next up, we're going to choose Fragile. Top option again, Fragile. And then next one, we're going to choose Rectangle. So top option again, Rectangle. Next up, we are going to choose uh, Triangle. So top option again, Triangulin. And then this one's all good. Then we've got another set of questions to do. Um, which the first option is going to be Roswell. That's a very good question, actually. What would you rather, crash on the moon or be stranded in Roswell? Anyway, choose Roswell there. Next up, um, choose short pants. Who wear short shorts? Doom, 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 doom. Choose up. Uh, next up, choose a lion. Basically, all the top options is what it was. Next up, we're going to choose Beck and what? Franz Beckenbauer, stupid. So, Beck and what? And then we're going to choose Dog Sweat. So again, top option, Dog Sweat. And then a couple more questions, and we're almost finished then with Chapter 2 after an hour. Uh, choose a top option, Dad, Aunt Lottie, Hanson Ice Cream. Which does sound pretty decent, actually. And then next up, we're going to choose top option, Could You Be Projecting Your Own Insecurities Onto Others? So, could you be projecting your own insecurity? And finally, choose just the top option, yes, full stop.
that is fine. And that's all the questions done. So we're not an alien. Who would have thunk it, huh? With excellent results, I have no more doubts that you are a real human. A real hu- That's what this was all about? I apologize for the inconvenience, but one can never be sure these days. It's our civic duty to track down and detain these aliens. They are among us. Mark my words, Mr. Tenhauser. You are free to go. Please show yourself out. I'm a human being, of flesh and blood, and now I'm going home. Aliens, you must be out of your minds. Something tells me we could have just used our nose to knock out his nose, and then we would have nobody knows nosed. Anyway, grab the key here from the left, head out to the right, and use the key with the locked glass door on the very right hand side in the main area. That will end chapter two, and we can finally begin Chapter 3 I'll leave the key under the doormat And again, it's a case of Hello darkness, my old friend. Holy crap, it's bloody dark again. Uh, but we're not doing anything, we're just gonna have a spin round until uh, chapter three properly begins. What is this place? I've arrived at some sort of and when chapter three finally begins, what you're going to get is an achievement straight away for dictaphone entry 20 out of 36. Again, this is automatic, but you will, you should be on 20 and you should get the owls are not what they seem achievement. So with that one done, what you can do now is interact with the chain here directly below where Tannhauser is standing. Um, what you need to do, we pick it up and we can use that chain. So again, have a look at the small hut, press down on the D-pad twice. And Tannhauser here will stick his chain square on the at door. Right. Uh, yep, that's fine for now. So what we can do is actually go ahead back to the left and interact with the gear to pick it up. So we'll come back to that. We will do that in a minute. But interact with the gear right here. Gears of war. And now interact with the little box next to the gear. That will smash open the door. Job done. Right, inside you can find a gassy a gracia cylinder. A gassy-ass cylinder. So make sure to interact with the gas cylinder there to collect it. Um, now, if we have a look on the right-hand side, uh, just over by the tent, just it's basically just underneath the tent. Uh, it's basically a, a belt. So make sure that we grab that one as well. So it's just underneath the tent right there. So interact with that. You are going to grab that one. And then from here, what we can do, we can then, in, you see where the debris is, um, right by the sort of base of the wall, in between the minecart and the hut. What we need to do is look at it first, and then we're able to pick up a helmet from it. Uh, so apologies about the confusion here, but we do need to look at the debris. 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 Well, thank you. Thank you, Spamhauser. Interesting thoughts there. Now we can interact with the helmet, so go ahead and pick that one up. Right, now what we can do, once again, hover over the tent, and we're going to use the recorder for the 21st dictaphone entry. So again, press record when you are um, hovering over the tent, and it's going to be dictaphone entry 21 out of 36. Right, so to get out of this bit then, what we're going to do is um, use the gear, the belt, and the cylinder. Now, two of them should already be automatically unlocked. I don't think it makes a difference in which order you do it in, but uh, in fact, it probably does actually. So put the gear on first, and then the other two should be highlighted. After this, interact with the cart to climb in, and boosh, boosh, boosh away. Here we go. And it's literally like your butt after a, <laughs> a hell of a lot of takeaway. You know, that, that morning after where your gut hurts and then you just sort of <laughs> explode. 
this is exactly the same scene. Oh, Jesus. Oh, everyone's poor toilets. Right, so after crashing and miraculously once again not uh, succumbing to our deathnesses, uh, we're going to automatically record dictaphone entry 22 out of 36. Beverly, the time has come. I am stranded, trapped deep underground in some sort of godforsaken cave. It's freezing cold. I can hardly see a thing. Whoever finds this recording, please hand the cassette tape to Miss Beverly. And now this. Right, so we're going to get a missable achievement here as well. So what we're going to do is hover over the bottom of the screen. There we go. So right in the bottom, right in the chasm there. Um, as we can see, it's a big, large area. So what we're going to do is use the coin with this chasm to get the future imperfect achievement. Pick any dialogue option that you want. But this is a missable achievement. And then what we're going to do when the achievement unlocks, we are going to quit up to the main menu, continue back in, and we will start right back here. So again, as soon as it unlocks, uh, quit out, go back into chapter three right there, and we will start again. Uh, we'll have to do the automatic dictaphone entry again, but you know, you got a miserable achievement. So life be good, yeah? Beverly, the time has come. I am stranded, trapped deep underground oh. in some sort of godforsaken cave. It's freezing cold. I can hardly see a thing. Whoever finds this recording, please hand the cassette tape to Miss Beverly. And now this. Okay, okay. Let's do this nice and proper, shall we? So let's go. Interact then with the pickaxe here on the left-hand side. Again, using your incredibly big nose strength to whap that out. Use the pickaxe on the gear, which should be just to the left of the crash head minecart. So go ahead and grab that one. Then we can interact with the gear. Then we can go ahead and interact with the minecart bucket here three times to kick it into the chasm. Hey! Away with it. No. And there it goes. Lovely. All right. So what we're going to do, there's a piece of this small pipe here just chilling right there. What we're going to do is use the gear with it. So that small piece of pipe we're going to use the gear with. And then once we've done that, we can use the pickaxe on the longer part of the pipe itself. Also interact, sorry, interact with the gear first. Oh, I'm so sorry. So interact with the gear first once you pop it on and then use the pickaxe here with the water, or the pipe, and that'll start sprinkling just a little bit of, you know, 2am pee-in-your-pants style wee-in water from the pipe. Um, yep, that'll do. And then after this bit, so three times there, so he's not he's not worried about, you know, <laughs> drowning or anything, which is good. So go ahead, use the pickaxe here with the stalactite at the top of the picture. And then all we need to do is just wait a little moment, but apparently with that stalactite falling down and the uh, little bits of droplets hanging down, apparently that's enough to fill a whole chasm right, relatively quickly too. Anyway, once the mine uh, minecart bucket appears, just interact with it and you will jump in and slowly go over to the right. Then you will go up onto the mine track. Job done.
Oh, you finally made it! I almost thought you'd never come. Look at you, covered in dirt. Did you stumble all the way here through the old mines? Uh, I don't have to answer that. Anyway, you're not going to believe what just happened to me. Yeah, I guess you're right. You gotta tell me every single detail when we have the time. Because of course, if you want everything to be secret, uh, make sure it's behind a big, massive door, so, you know, it's nice and subtle and everything. Top advice there. Right, so, when we can, we're going to hover over the door, and we're going to use the record button to dictate... To dictate. Uh, we're going to use the recorder for Dictaphone 23 out of 36. So, again, this is on the large door to the... Well, basically, right in front of us there. Very hard to miss that one. So, now, we have to do this first time in order. So, hover... Your cursor here over to the right just to the sort of um very left hand side there um and then what you're going to do is look at it now again you have to find basically you have to find these patterns in an order in the correct order uh first time and this is for an achievement it's to open the door but it is for an achievement as well if you end up getting it wrong um just go ahead quit out to the main menu come back in and you should start uh right at the very beginning of this scene so this is the cape in here on the left Next up, what we're going to do is have a look in the top left-hand corner. Again, you can't skip this dialogue, which is annoying. Have a look in the top left-hand corner just up by the hole. That, and again, look at it. And that is the second one, some Egyptian hieroglyphs. Weird. Tenhauser, these are ancient Egyptian hieroglyphs. What are they doing here? I'm afraid I don't know too much about them. This pictogram on the left could mean door or gateway. It's followed by the symbol of death. Doesn't that spark your curiosity as well? Interesting. Maybe these inscriptions are somehow connected to the opening mechanism. Some sort of photonic reception, perhaps. Next up, then, the third one is just to the right of where the first one was. So, just over to the left of the door there. That is exactly where the third one is. So, look at it to get Gretken to point her stuff at it. Ah, interesting. This looks like a Latin inscription. Hang on to your head. Interpreted freely, this translates to path of no return. <laughs> Hogwash, you Romans. Did you notice that other little light turning on? The fourth one is basically just going to be high up. Uh, basically, where the third one was, just go up right at the top of the screen right there. That is the fourth one. You're not going to believe this. These are Germanic runes, my special field of interest. Huh, this one roughly translates to <clears throat> Be gone, stranger, for all you may find here is certain death. And finally then, the fifth one is going to be in the top right-hand corner, the very top right-hand corner. And it is Graffito. So there it is, right in the very top-hand corner of the screen. Um, that will be all good, so that will light up all five doors. And it will get us the Open Sesame achievement for opening the vault at the very first attempt. Again, if you do make a mistake before cracking on with it, uh, quit out to the main menu, continue back, and you should begin here at the beginning of this scene. So, it's going to be a bit dramatic here, but the door will open, and we will automatically make our way in inside. We need to get that door open. This looks promising. This cave has obviously been visited by explorers from the Isn't it strange that all of them left warnings on the wall? And whoever built this gigantic vault wanted to make sure that only a human with the right set of knowledge could open it. Maybe long after its architects ceased to exist. I assume this is why they utilized all of these different writings. They literally left the code on the wall. In case of an emergency, Remarkable. 
Yes! Hey, baby, we're in the dark, we're in the dark, so you can see how big my nose is. Now, I interact with the console here between Gretchen and uh, Tannhauser, uh, so that will turn on the lights. There they blow. Oh, wow, this is a fine room. Right, head over to the solar system model on the table. Hover over it, use your dictaphone entry. That's dictaphone entry 24 out of 36. I stumbled upon an Did impressive model of our solar topic? system, yet curiously, it displays our nine planets in disorder, as if there was a disturbance in the interstellar balance, much like an event. Whether this is a foreshadow, to be honest, it's hard. And we've also got newspaper three out of four, just on the right-hand side, so basically the bottom right-hand corner. Go ahead, interact with that one, and this paper is called... Missing exclamation mark. Oh, it's dramatic. Oh, vanished without a trace. Maybe he went for a haircut. Anyway, uh, have a look at the computer equipment here on the left. We're going to look at it first. And then in the very, very bottom left hand corner can be kind of hard to miss, but there is a bottle which we can interact with. There it is. Again, it's right in the very bottom left hand corner. Once we pick that up, we can use said bottle, not the drink. Oh, we're not, we're not rummies today. But we're going to use the bottle here on the solar system. Again, make sure that you've got the dictaphone entry, which you should have uh, for the solar system. And that should be, by the way, that's 24 or 36, as I said. So now we can go ahead and interact with the green item on the table, which is basically a RAM module. Where you're ramming it? <laughs> well, apparently we don't know where we've been ramming our inventory items. So, interesting stuff. Right, have a look. Walk into the red lit sort of alcove here in the back. And some dialogue will begin. Hello? Anybody there? Of course. Another locked door. Right, so that was fun, wasn't it, kids? <laughs> yeah! Right, head back to the left anyway. We're going to go back to the uh, bunch of computer equipment here on the left. Interact with the white panel that is closest to Gretchen. And then when we when we do that, when we've opened up that one, we can stick our module and ram it square in the hole. Again, providing that's okay, of course, and that we've, um, you know, we, we're all, um, you're all lubed up and everything. We're going to stick our module and ram it square in the hole. There we go. Right. Choose, I can't see you who's talking there. I can't even see who's talking there. Bottom option. Ah, hello. It's Am's computer. Barbosa, I am Hans, and I defragmented your memory. Hi, I am Hans. Right, this time, uh, Captain Barbarossa will appear, and he's going to basically move to the back of the room. There he goes. When we can, we're going to talk to it again. So, there we go. We can now talk to it again. First of all, we are going to choose what kind of a station is this. So, what kind of a station is this? Top option. What kind of a station is this? What kind of station is this? Ah, yeah. Then next up, we're going to choose. So, how do I become authorized? How does one become come authorized? How do I become authorized? Next up, we're going to choose who constructed you. Second option, who constructed you? And then next up, we are going to choose. How long have you been down here? So, third option, how long have you been down here? Third option, how long have you been down here? I think, did I repeat myself? I just did. Um, and then choose, aren't you feeling lonely down here? Which, yes, to be fair, it is a pretty lonely time to be a robot. Aren't you feeling lonely down here? Then we're going to choose, let's hope they were being honest with you. Top option, let's hope they were being honest with you. Next up, we're going to choose people lie sometimes. People lie sometimes, i.e. people lie a lot. 
that's all people are good for is just lying. Uh, but people lie sometimes and then choose, yes, it is perfectly logical. So top option, yes, it is perfectly logical. And that ends the conversation, but that will also unlock us 16 years, 304 days, and 9 hours achievement for listening to Captain Barbarossa's story now. Right, so let's walk back over the computer banks again, the computer stuff, and interact with the white panel in the second, in the middle, with steam coming out of it. So um, that's basically, like, again, that's pretty much the robot's equivalent of letting out a massive fart, I assume. Everyone seems to be happy with that. So... Talk to Captain Barbarossa again, and then choose, but you do know me, please love me, <laughs> you do know me. <sighs> okay, not as dramatic as I just said, but you know, close enough. Then choose, of course, all Captain Barbarossa wants is a friend, so you know, we'll do that. Anyway, uh, Captain Barb will open the door and we can now automatically proceed. Chapter 3, and not far from being Finward. But if I let you... I will be alone. Will you come back? Scouts on it. Exus granted. It's the Saturn portal. You have no idea, do you? What do you mean? Quantum physicist, ridiculous. Is, is that a gun? Get off of that boy. I can see no reason for violence here. Hey, hey, hey. Is that really necessary? You too, Bambi. Move over there. Are you serious? After everything we've been through? You're not gonna stand in my way. You've had your chance, Tenhauser, but you had to follow me around like a puppy dog. Now that's what you get. But it was you that had the idea to come here. Shut your pie hole! Please, you don't understand. I need help. What kind of a dog are you? A bunch of hapless maggots, that's what you are. Standing in front of the Saturn portal without any clue! You're staying here, chums. You may as well bid farewell to this stupid clunker while you're at it. It's been getting on my nerves from the beginning. No. Bye-bye. <laughs> Some people are scoundrels. Others are not. Yes. That's how it is. I still can't believe Gretchen would play such a wicked game on me. Now, this is not what I wanted either. Who are you? And what are you doing here anyway? Hey, that was you. Last night, in my room. Calm down, calm down, please. You must have a lot of questions. You bet I do. So, Gretchen's the bad girl. What a plot twist, dog! So, who's seen that one come in? I sure as hell didn't. I thought we were going to go on a pretty adventure and get married in the end, like every other game. Right, choose Saturn Portal. What did she talk about? And then, next up, we're going to choose who built this portal. Was it Gladys? Oh, they should have They should have named Gretchen Gladys in this one. Portal, you know, Gladys, yeah, yeah. Next, choose who are you, anyway. So, who are you? You're not the only option, as it turns out. And then say, Oh, you, you big no schlub. You stole my notes. So you stole my notes. Next up, choose, But what do you want with my journal? I'm just a humble OnlyFans subscriber. Because, <laughs> yeah. Uh, now, you, what, what do you want with my journal? Sadly, I can't afford to subscribe to anyone's OnlyFans, I'm afraid. Um, everyone's just too expensive for me, and YouTube doesn't pay me that well. Uh, but what's my role in all of this? The <laughs> top option. Next up, then, we are going to choose. And where are you from? From the other side. 
from the inside out, the upside down, Stranger Things. And finally, we are going to choose Please Go On. And that will basically open up the door and we will unlock chapter three and begin the longest chapter in the game. So bottom option there, please go on. And now we will uh, begin chapter four, which is about an hour, an hour and five minutes long in itself. So that's nice. You can disintegrate the whole plant, which is what she's doing. Enough talk. So this time, when we do begin chapter four, we're actually going to do something in the darkness, my old friend. We're actually going to walk over to the left. We're going to find El Doctorini, and we're just going to talk to him to proceed to the uh, stuff for Rizzle, my nizzle. Did we seriously just step out of a phone booth? We did. Wait, there is another way? I don't have to answer that. What's it like on the other side? Different. Hard to describe. Just try. How does it feel? So, few dialogue options to pick again. First of all, we're going to choose, please, I need to know. So top option, please, I need to know. And then for the second one, we are going to say, you have to go into all the details later. I want to know everything. So just choose the second option. And we'll jump forward. So we're going to basically be in our room uh, where we were at the guest house. People buy. I don't think she knows of the danger. Your world is going to collapse. But how? She. We need to come up with. I don't want to be here at. Yet here you are. Sorry. We could go to my room. That would actually be. Follow me. Okay. I went over your plans, and I think I get the idea. It's pretty mind-boggling, but it could work. We need to improvise here and there. I found some scrap metal to roughly model a frame for the device. Let's get it started, then. I'm afraid there are a few integral components that need to be swapped in, though. Okay, what are we looking for? First, we need a source of energy. A very strong source. Second, a particle accelerator. That's going to be a tough nut to crack. Third, a potent coolant. The whole thing could blow up otherwise. Number four. Last but not least, an interface to control the device. Any kind of peripheral will do. Okay. How do we begin? The order doesn't really matter. I'll go to the village. Maybe I can find some substitutes for the missing parts. Good. Just bring them over. I'm sure I can patch them together somehow. Let's do this. Thank you, Hans. I'd already be dead if it wasn't for you. Oh, you. It wasn't that bad. You are awesome. I just wanted you to know that I'm eternally grateful to have met you. All things considered, dying may not be as bad as I always thought it might be. Don't you say that. Even if I don't make it. I think old uh, Grubenhausen right here is uh, hitting on us a bit, which, uh, hey, I'm flattered. But I'm really going for these backdoor shenanigans. Yet. <laughs> Anyway, go ahead and speak to um, Taffy Bags. Um, and then what we're going to say is, you really are from another dimension, right? Second option, you really are from another dimension. Next up, choose top option, fleeing. Flea Bags. Next up, choose, I think I met them too. Again, top option. Escaped. Uh, then choose, how did you manage to escape? Eventually. So how did you manage to escape? Top option. Then what were you fleeing from? Top option again. And then finally choose, how did you manage to hide for so long? Now, there are other... Now, what you need to say is with nines or without. So basically, all the four options there are related to the game Doppelkopf. Um, and you basically have to ask him about Doppelkopf, uh, the four conversation options, ten times um, in order to get that achievement. Um, but we'll get into a sort of routine with it in just a bit. So every time we stop, talk to him again. 
and then blah 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 what are you gonna see you're gonna say can i ask about something personal or can i ask you something personal then choose second dull trumps the first so second dull trumps the first that again is related to the game doppelkopf and then you'll have a quick conversation and then you'll do the same thing again so after he says cool we'll talk to him again can i ask you something personal and then choose single hand coming out <laughs> is that your single hand coming out or are you just happy to see me oh it's a bit of both and then again so do the same thing again how you're holding up blah 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 can i ask you something personal then choose catch Karlchen or not. Or Karlchen, sorry, catch Karlchen or not. They are the four options, like I said, that are related to the game Doppelkopf, which um, we'll just crack on with the rest of the conversation and then come back to this achievement. So, can I ask you something personal? Again, then choose, are there more of your kind? What? Humans. Uh, I assume there would be. Now choose, um, again, you can choose second dull trumps the first, because, only because I, f it seemed to be a lot more than 10, uh, me asking that question, it seemed to be a lot more than 10, so, anyway, we'll talk to him again, and now we're going to say about the concept of interdimensional travelling, so about the concept, third option, and then what we're going to choose is, can you elaborate, or can you not. Like, say, an in exactly. I think I've seen it. Now say, P please go on. P please go on. And then finally, we're going to say, you make it sound as if everything we humans did was wrong. Eventually, we're going to get there again. So you make it, so it's basically the third option anyway. Yeah, there it is. Third option, you make it sound as if everything we humans did was wrong, and then we can say goodbye. Goodbye! Goodbye! What that's going to do is unlock the Mr. Universe achievement, but again, we need to talk to him once more to get the Doppelkopf achievement. So, speak to him one more time, and again, like we've been doing, we're going to say, can I ask you something personal? And whatever Doppelkopf rules line is available so obviously it'll be the second hand the second option every time single hand whatever it is so just keep doing that and then just keep going now until the dull trumps achievement unlocks can i ask you something yes single hand coming out some that's cool how are you holding on can i ask you something personal yes second doll trumps the first look at of course that's cool how are you? Don't vote. Can I ask you? Yes. Single hand. Deep. That's cool. How are you holding? Don't. Can I ask you something? Yes. Catch cars. With that's cool. That was genuinely way more than ten times, but yeah. So just keep going there until it unlocks, and then we're all good to go. So on top of the computer equipment, just to the left of us and the window, uh, is a jar that we can interact with. So we're going to grab that one. And uh, let's head back downstairs via the door. Now, remember our little massage rod that we gave to Trude earlier? Well, we're going to need it back. But Trude has uh, handed it somewhere. She's put it somewhere. Uh, it does smell a bit funny in this room, but um, I'm not going to ask. So just give True the fishing rod, uh, the fishing rod, and she is going to say any option here: whistle, 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 whistle. Well, yes. uh, but basically, she's put our massage rod pretty much where the sun doesn't shine, so she's given us a whistle in return. So job done. Uh, say my massage rod, because uh, you know it's my bruh. This is my vacation, and so far it's not going as relaxing as I thought. I need a massage on my bows. So, whistle it is. Right, walk over to the buffet table on the right anyway, uh, and interact with the large pot. It's basically a big pot of gravy, which of course you carry around with you, because, I mean, if it tastes anything like KFC gravy, then you are on to a winner. Anyway, head back outside the door, obviously on the left-hand side, and you will see that the village square is a little busier than it was before. Job done. So, 
Um, just above the guest house door, you can see the circular antenna um, fitting, but we're going to use the whistle on it. And the reason we're doing that, we need, there's an achievement for moving the crows six times. So this is going to be the first time, of course. So move the crows there. Now what you're going to do is go to the Mobius Palast sign just to the left um, and use the whistle on that as well. There we go. And then eventually the crows are going to fly over. So that'll be the second time they moved over. Right, so walk to the left-hand side of the village. Now, you're going to see the Baron, Baron von Schnutzenbags. In his wheelchair, there he is. Just to the left of him is a little goyle. We're going to interact with the stand that the little gargoyle is standing by, and we'll have a cone of roasted almonds. Now, if that was a cone of greasy, delicious chips, then I'd be in it. But roasted almonds will do. So um, what we're going to do, go to, over to the left and interact with the sailor right here. We're going to talk to him to get another achievement. This is a very short conversation, so that'll come in handy. A sailor that doesn't like water. That's uh, <laughs> that's like a fireman that doesn't like fire. But who does? Anyway, choose about that fear of water. Okay, I'll, I'll say that's like a grass cutter that doesn't like grass. That's like a... Like a... Like a... Right. Uh, I can't think right now. But choose why to become a sailor man if you, if you are scared of water. And then choose what happened to your leg, because obviously, uh, you know, it's sort of out and peg-legging. So what happened to your leg? After this, you could just say goodbye, and that will unlock the Norwegians Call You Lars achievement. That's a nice story. I think I'm needed elsewhere. Once we're up and done with that, you can see the bucket just above the old sailor's head there. Probably the worst sailor in the planet. So what you're going to do, obviously, is uh, use the whistle on the bucket. That'll bring the birds over again. So that'll be the third out of six that we've got. So now we can just leave the village just by walking left. Right. Uh, what we're going to do, move basically just on the left-hand side of the booth. On the floor, can be kind of hard to see. It's right there, though, in the middle. Uh, of the path, it's the raffle ticket. So we're going to go ahead and interact with said raffle ticket. Now, very important as well, uh, what we're going to do, we're going to use the whistle on the tree branch above our head, but make sure to use the recorder before you feed the birds the roasted uh, roasted almonds. If you feed them before, um, you won't be able to get the recorder. So again, you'll just have to quit out and continue, and you should be back at the beginning of the scene. But obviously, you know, to try not to do that. So, using that then, that'll be four out of six for moving the crows. So, uh, once they are highlighted, again, press down with the D-pad, then press right, of course, and then press down again to record them first. So, we haven't had a dictaphone entry for a while, but that is number 25 out of 36. And then after this, what then what you can do, or in fact, what we're going to get is the Lonesome Foghorn Blows achievement for recording 25 dictaphone entries. So once that is done, hover over the birds again and use the cone of roasted almonds. Over here, little birdies. Whoops, I must have overfed them. So once we fatten them little boys up, uh, interact here with the flickering uh, light switch on the left-hand side as well. So once you've looked at it, we can then interact with it to make some technical repairs, i.e. this is basically my way that I technically repair stuff. Give it a kick and then hope it works. Nine times out of ten, funnily enough, it doesn't work. Anyway, uh, go ahead and interact with the fireflies directly in front of us, or use your inventory and grab some jars there. If you uh, manage to miss it before the lights came on, that's fine. Just interact once again with the light switch. Give it another boot with your foot. And the fireflies will come back out. So you, sh you can't really miss that. But make sure you've got some fireflies all jarred up. Otherwise, we can just head right back into the village. Step right up. Every ticket's a winner. No blanks. Guaranteed. Our first prize is an all-day boat ride on the Trubelanke. So you know that drill. 
give your raffle ticket here to um, old Whatterface to be entered into a prize draw. It's not a very good prize, but well, we got some trading to do. You're a lucky fella. Now let's see what fortune has in store for you. Are you ready? A can of cat food generously provided by the t oh my well that is without a doubt one of the worst prizes you will ever ever get kind of cat food job done right i suppose so we're going to do head to the left talk to the baron here and again we're going to be doing a lot of trading with a quite a few people so speak to him and then you're going to say i saw you at the raffle right you can ask how Claus is doing but quite frankly we've got the achievement we don't really care so i saw you at the raffle right and then we are going to, um, basically, we're just going to have a little swap. So as soon as the op next dialogue option comes up, just choose yes. What do you have in mind? You leave this deli- And uh, in return, I Sounds like a purr. It will be to your benefit. Once that beautifulness is done, what we can do is go back towards the uh, guest house. And now we're going to use the whistle once again on the round antenna fitting. Try not to go up on the stage, because, you know, you get stuck, even though you could, you could probably just jump down. Uh, but go ahead, use the whistle once again on the round antenna fitting. What that's going to do is uh, the old chunky bird bags, they're going to break it. That's going to move Lenai, or Leni, Lini, away from the TV inside the house, which we will need to do a little bit later on anyway. So, ah, you wet blankets. <laughs> anyway, walk up to the steps next to the guest house. Uh, and then what we're going to do, there is a, a lovely lady here who's just working out in the middle of absolutely nowhere. Why the hell not? Uh, so what we can do, we're going to walk to the right. We're going to record a dictaphone entry for the hexagon above. We have already done it once, but we need to do this again in order to get two new more entries. So first of all, dictaphone entry there on the hexagon at the top and a dictaphone entry for the... Um, yellow phone box as well. Like I said, we've done them before, but these two, again, are new entries, which should be 26 and 27. Now, out of 36. There we go. Right, so, what we're going to do now is basically just keep talking to, um, well, old Heather Swanson right here. Just keep talking to her until we're able to have, uh, some dialogue appear for us to choose. In German. Why? What's your name? We'd pronounce it Tannhäuser with an umlaut. Yes. These things on the ground, we call them fur cones. As what do you mean? Well, fur. Some things. You're from around these parts. No. Just getting accustomed to it, I guess. Me neither. I come here for the. Smoke. The climate makes me feel a lot better. Ah, now it should appear right, meow. So there we go, meow. So what are you doing up meow, here? Meow, meow, meow. I just like traveling. She's got a hell of a soft voice for such a big face. So you're taking, so, you're taking a break anyway. <laughs> you're taking a break. Uh, then choose for the second option. Sounds a bit like you're going through a life crisis, <laughs> aren't we all? Used to be midlife crisis, now it's uh, a crisis from your teenage years to your old age. Uh, do you know the locals? Second option, do you know the locals? Then choose, do you know a man called Lazarus Taft? You know a man called Lazarus Taft? Yes, I do. Then choose, um, I saw you down there at the raffle. We're going to be doing some, uh, to be honest, I prefer a dumbbell. Ah, if you're on holidays, you might as well work out. Uh, but there you go. I saw you down there at the raffle. And once again, we're going to just choose it. Yes, and then goodbye. Just a snuff box. I've sworn off with you. I'm in possession of a pair. Didn't you say you lost? Yes, indeed. Would you trade with me, but you hiking boots in exchange for my snuff to back? Fair enough. Oh, thank you. How nice. I've got to go. Okay. Have a nice evening. Thanks again. You're Finally, I can, I can hear the call. Spiritual and lovely. You can't beat it, can you? Anyway, that'll get you the insight achievement for listening to the Alpinist story. So, uh, on the post to the left here is a telescope. What we're going to do is use our coin with said telescope 
to get the Meteor Police achievement. That is, obviously, this is why we reloaded our save earlier when we threw the coin down. Um, just press the um, A button to, to back out of there, and then we can head back down the steps. Um, head all the way over to the left and talk to the Sailor Man once again. And once again, you'd, all you're going to ask him is, I saw you at the raffle right, and then yes, and that will get us the boat ride ticket. Arr. I saw you at the raffle, right? Did you win? Arr. Just, man, I hate what uh, you? I won this. Is that snuff to back? Would you like to make a deal? What do you have in mind? Would you like to have, you know, the one for the boat? That's what I got. That's from the local boat rental. Yes. Okay, let's make it so. All right. Deal. Who knew uh, life would be this easy? <laughs> well, if it was in real life, it's probably on crap talk by now. So anyway, once we've gone back outside here to this sort of main-ish area, we're going to speak to the lady in the booth who looks suspiciously like the lady from the other raffle. So choose how much for there are any these swimming animals, and then just choose absolutely any option at all. My bet is on... Sea monsters. Maybe. Then go ahead and choose, I won this voucher in the raffle. And that will do. Um, I do accidentally speak to her again here, so don't do this. You don't need to. Um, who would have thought? Yes, you do look exactly the same. Makes perfect sense. So, yeah, you don't need to speak to her again. What you need to do is interact with the blue swimming animal, which is just to the left of the booth. The Terra Pteranodon. I think I pronounced that right. The Pteranodon, the big flying dinosaur. But anyway, interact with that so we can pick that one up. Now we're going to look at the boat just where the blue Pteranodon thing was. So look at the boat by the pier, and then we can go ahead and go back and speak to the Ladia in the boat, in the booth, sorry. So we're gonna choose the top option, that pedal boat has a leak. How can you tell me that it is a prize that I've won when like, come on, man. This is the worst town in the world. Worst vacation ever, as I said. So say yes. We'll obviously, we're obviously going to have to help her because uh, apparently nobody else has the smarts enough to do it themselves. So apparently what we're going to use is the pot of gravy on the boat. Somehow, gravy fixes boat leaks. So again, if you've got a mega big, big boat or expensive yacht, don't Bother getting someone else to fix it. Just get a pot of gravy, shove that in, and that's job done, apparently. So, uh, oh, life advice this game is teaching us is incredible. So, walk to the far left here, and we are going to visit this new area. So, we're going to use our recorder now on the junk here on the at the base of the tree. That should be uh, Dectaphone entry 28 out of 36. I found a trash dump right in the middle. The question arises... And then what you're going to do after that is uh, use the whistle on the trash pile. That will inter uh, grab the birds. That, so that should be five out of six for them moving now. So use the whistle here on the trash pile. The birds will start coming. They, they go a lot slower since they're fatter. And then interact with the round bin lid here on the left-hand side of the pile. So it should be highlighted on its own. There it is. So make sure to interact with the round bin lid to pick that up. Next, have a look at the attached note to the tree trunk. You can look at that one. Okay, thanks very much. Well, that's a very good note. Anyway, now we can go ahead and talk, quote-unquote, talk to the tree trunk. Again, sometimes the cursor may be a bit weird. Uh, so pick it absolutely any option that you want, because it doesn't matter. The Ballad of Heinz Beans. Heinz means beans, you know. So there's the rope. We're going to interact with the rope there on the right-hand side, so interact with that. And we're going to finally get our final paper of the game. So we're, all, we're going to climb up here to the lower platform. Now, the paper is going to be under the seat. Now, again, the cursor is a bit weird here. So you may, it, it doesn't lock onto the paper. So what you'll have to do is just keep trying to hover over to the paper and pressing up to look at it. And there it is. That should now get you the papers, please, exclamation mark achievement. And that is good. Now we can just go ahead 
interact with the fruit just to the top right of Tannhauser's chunky little nugget head. And then we can interact with the ladder to climb further up. So make sure to grab the fruit before we climb up. And the first four conversation dialogue options do not matter here with old... Uh, well, we know this guy. But anyway, uh, you can just go ahead, keep talking, uh, choosing any option that you want until we regain control. Time, boy. You've chosen the wrong neighborhood. I'm selling these fine massages. <sighs> Are you referring to the keep out? <sighs> You're one of them. One of them? Okay, I'll tell you what. I don't care what you believe. Hey, what? <laughs> no. no, sir. And you government guys are... Wait. I already told you guys last name and rank, soldier. Spit it out! I'm working for the parks. Doesn't really roll off the tongue. I'd like to ask you a few questions. Liar! That's ridiculous! Sa nice hat. Okay, the quality of your lies doesn't it. So, what are you doing? Well, it all... I was stunned. But a prize like this should not be... I might even be able to discover some... Also, that I deserve... She only wished for me to return. So, after a brief visit to Berlin... And that's how I ended up... Interesting stuff. I mean, it's ridiculous now about the part with him. I always had the impression. So it is yet another talking achievement and listening to someone's bloody story coming up. So once we've regained control, speak to Lessing once again. Uh, <laughs> I thought his name was Virgin, uh, but Lessing it is. Uh, what do you know about the Millennium Cooperative? The top option. A secret society. They are directing from the shadows. They surely build something. Then choose the top option again. You must have been down the deepest depths of the rabbit hole. Crikey, you must have been down the deepest depths of the rabbit hole. Of course, I. if you look at the angel... Ah! Stop it! Next, we're going to choose, ever hear the term Saturn Portal? So, second option, ever hear the term um, right arrow, right arrow, Saturn Portal, left arrow? And then the next option we're going to pick is, that sure sounds like a lot of science fiction to me. So, second option, that sure sounds like a lot of science fiction to me. Uh, next up, we're going to choose what is with your squirrel. So, what's with your squirrel? Eventually, it's going to come up now. Now. So, uh, third option, what's with your squirrel? <laughs> Drowsy. Uh, so, why are you living out here on your own? Oh, yeah, of course, yes. You're a threat, of course, of course. Anyway, that's it. Say goodbye and... The conversation of hell will unlock us the rabbit hole achievement anyway. So at least we got something good out of that. Huh. Right, have a look at the um, rotating fans behind Lessing's fat head. It's a weather vane, actually. So we're going to interact with it. We will correct, uh, collect the rotating blades. And then what we can do is interact with the trap door again, go down the ladder, then interact with the rope to go down all the way to the floor, and then go all the way back to the right. So let's go here, let's go fix that boat, man. We've put the gravy in, which apparently fixes all leaks. So again, try it. If, if the water's dripping from your bathroom, from the bath upstairs, chuck some gravy in it. That'll do fine, just fine. So what we're going to do then is use the rotating blades here on the boat, and that should basically fix it up. So gravy and some rotating blades, and you've got yourself a brand new boatmobile. Oh, yeah. So with that one done, um, we will automatically head to the swamp, and we will automatically... Record dictaphone entry 29 out of 36. It is this one right here. And then what we're going to do after this, we're going to hover over the skeleton. Now, what you can see is a probably no skeleton, but a bunch of yellow boots sticking out of the ground. That's the skeleton. Uh, so hover over the skeleton there directly in front of us and use your recorder to record dictaphone entry 
30 out of 36, which should also get you the achievement every day, once a day, give yourself a gift, the gift of a life. So, once the achievement unlocked, that should, again, you should now be on 30 out of 36, so you can interact with the yellow boots. Uh, what that will do is, um, if you interact with the skeleton, you can, like, collect a rusty key. If you interact with the boots themselves, you can pick them up. Um, I forget now, but we got to come back here later anyway, so it doesn't matter if you grab them or not. But make sure to grab the yellow boots anyway. Um, as you can see, with the visible sort of big dinosaur fossil here in the rock, just below the wooden sign, make sure to use your recorder. That is Dictaphone Entry 31 out of 36. And then we're going to use the whistle on the fossil to attract the birds over. Now this is spot number six out of six, and that will get you the Raban. Raban achievement. Rabbidi-dabbidi-doo. And that is job done. Right. So walk all the way to the right and interact with the green light sticking out of the ground, chilling out of the ground. Hmm. Interesting stuff. And then we can just go ahead, make our way back to the left, interact with the boat. And we are glowing as green as the sun doth shine on green. Pleh. Ahoy. Okay, once we are back and we are growing, glowing greener than the whole greeniest green thing you can green of, uh, head all the way back to the green, I, I mean the left. And we're going to go ahead and speak to the all penis to receive some item, uh, vitamin pills, sorry. Hello? To the all penis, to the alpinist. That's what it is, right? It's the uh, alpine, alpinist. That's what she is. So anyway, uh, she's given us some vitamin pills, so we can just go ahead and exit back to the right. And we're going to be getting a sort of sort of fast travel system thing coming up. So what we're going to do is head back to the right. We're going to speak to the lady in the booth again. She's going to give us a postcard. And then basically every time we go to different scenes, we can now go onto this postcard fast travel system, sort of. You fixed the boat. How can I ever thank you? Don't worry. No, no, no I insist. Please take this as... This postcard will help me find my way around. Uh... Now, annoyingly, you'll notice that uh, nothing is named. So on the right, very right hand side is the village. So just press the A button on the village. Obviously, it's the left stick to move stuff, but um, the village is on the very right hand side. Um, so right now we're here. We're going to go to the machine, which the strong man is standing by. How did they get my likeness exactly? God damn. So what we're going to do, we're going to use the vitamin pills on the machine and then use absolutely any dialogue option to win a leaden trophy. Why not? Wow, not too bad. Not too bad at all. I think we have a new champion. Congratulations! Here, this is your prize. A leaden trophy. Like a trophy made out of lead. This one's a real beauty! Thanks. Actually, if they got any of my likeness in this game, I am Tannhausen. Skinny, uh, with a big belly. Uh, right, so, head over all the way to the right-hand side, into the guest house. Uh, we now have to tell Trude about her Heinz means Bean's brother. So, Again, like I said, talk to Truda. She's still looking, uh, she's looking exceptionally red and flustered for some reason. Cops is on, probably. Um, now choose, I would like to ask you something. Uh, what can you tell me about your brother? Which is the top option. Then choose, I think I may have met him. With his head buried deep, deep down in the swamp. Yellow rubber boots. Uh, I think I may have met him. I think I may have met him. 
I found his mortal remains. I'm sorry. Uh, are you? My condolence. Oh, Heinz. Poor Reston. Can't say I'm really surprised. I will inform you. Well, that went better than expected. Um, apparently, I mean, she does have a massage rod up in places, so maybe she's still sort of focused on that right now. Anyway, once you said goodbye, we'll get the beardy type achievement. So, as you can see, there is a door here in between the, t the TV set and the stairs. Use the key on it, and then we can interact with the door itself to enter. As soon as the next screen loads, we're automatically going to record dictaphone entry 32 out of 36. Beverly, I have unearthed the gate to a sealed crypt, the cellar of this lodge. My descent begins. This is what Professor Lidenbrock must have felt when he climbed down the Snifels, you go. I can hardly see a thing. Light the way, my friends. So this next bit is a bit of a pain, to be honest. Not because of anything hard, but the rickety stairs that we have to go all the way down the bottom of um, is just a pain because, as I said uh, a lot earlier in the game, walking can be kind of finicky where you can get stuck on absolutely random bits of nothing, and these stairs are it. So if you keep having trouble, just let go of the left stick and then uh, press down or any direction that you need to be going on or jiggle the left stick a little bit. Uh, keep holding the right trigger button as well. That seems to help. Uh, but either way, uh, just get down the stairs as, as quick as you potentially can. Ah, that was a bit of a long old slog, that one. Right, so a few items we're going to grab. Immediately to the left is a bag of malt, which we will be grabbing. So make sure to grab that. Um, just to the right of the steps is a barrel. So uh, make sure to have a look at the top of the barrel and you need to grab some yeast. Not infection, not yeast infection, just regular old yeast. Nobody likes a yeast infection, right? Uh, to the right of the barrel there is a metal bin and on the right side is, as you can see, another bin lid, which we will collect. So interact with that to collect it. And immediately, basically immediately to the right is a pin, a uh, post, which is pinned to the, uh, that's the one. So, oh, a note which is pinned to a post. That's what I was trying to say. Uh, so that's a recipe which we can have a look at. And then after this one, if we move uh, basically a little bit more to the right, you can see this brewing still, it is called. So we're going to hover the still, hover over it, interact with it. And then if we go down, you can see there is a tap. So it's, it should be highlighted on its own right there, right at the bottom there. Uh, it's basically a tap. Uh, so we have to interact with that to s learn that we have to light up the gracias. So walk all the way up, uh, back upstairs, and then go back outside. And here we are, fresh air, beautiful. So heading all the way to the left, of course, we're going to keep using the postcard map now. And we're going to choose the swamp option, which is basically the bottom left-hand corner. So if we head down, there it is. So in the bottom left-hand corner, that is the swamp. Now, again, what we have to do is record the dictaphone entry before we pick up the mushrooms. But remember, uh, where I... I uh, forgot to pick up the yellow boots earlier. Now is the time to pick up the yellow boots. As you can see, we can walk across the water. We've got the two bin lids, but we need the yellow boots. So uh, if you didn't pick them up earlier on, um, obviously pick them up now. If you did, interact with the water and um, use the boots and the two bin lids to walk across. Like, kind of like Jeebus, except this is better. Once again, very important here, before you pick up the mushrooms, make sure that you hover over the mushroom patch and record it with the dictaphone entry. So that should be dictaphone entry 33 out of 36. And thankfully, that one is done. So now we've just got, uh, well, there's two more to get. There's three more to go, but two until the achievement unlocks, which is tidy. But anyway, interact with the mushrooms and then use the items to cross the water once again. 
and then interact with the boat. Basically, we're just heading back to the guest house now. Ahoy. Right, so what we're going to do is go ahead and speak to the red and flustered Truda once again. Where's my massage rod? Uh, I would like to ask you something. Second option. Oh, uh, yes, of course. Say, got a light. Uh, yes, my rosy red cheeks. And then just say, never mind. Say, never mind. And then goodbye. And Truda has given us a lighter. Thank you very much. Right, head back down the doorway here in between the TV and the stairs. So we're going to go back down to the still. So obviously we're going to head to the right. Oh, uh, we have to walk down those these crappy annoying stairs once more, so go ahead, do that. Well, I was a little bit relatively pain, a little bit more pain free that time. So from here, then what we need to do is now we can use the lighter um, basically on the tap, uh, which is just underneath the still. So me, I don't know what the hell I'm doing right here, but we need to use the still. So basically the tap, use the lighter on it. That's going to light it up. And now on the still itself, you have to do this in a particular order. It doesn't matter if you get it wrong or anything, you just got to do it in the order. So use the fruit first. Excuse me. Uh, so use the fruit and then you need to, again, you'll have to hover over it once again. There we go, got there eventually. Next, you need to use the malt, which is the brown leaf. This looks <laughs> if it's tangy and brown, you're inside of town. Uh, now use the yeast, which is the um, infectionate white powder, and then the purple mushroom. So that is the fruit first, then the malt, the brown leaf, then the yeast, the bowl of white powder, and then the purple mushroom. Put them in that order, and then a tube will run from the top. And basically there's going to be a bottle. Interact with that bottle, and that will trigger up the next scene. Yes! 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 Let's get steaming, boys! Whoa, that is some mean spirit. Alcohol, never again. Now that looks like a headache which won't go away for at least three days, especially if you're over 25. And if you're over 30, that ain't going away for a week, that, uh, <laughs> that headache. Anyway, all of a sudden, for some reason, it appears to be snowing, and then we've got that little dwarf talking to us. I mean, a, a little, a little, a little beautiful person. Little person speak to us. Um, her name is Madonna, which actually I think I prefer the look of this Madonna rather than the, the uh, current singer Madonna. She looks like she's just put pegs on the back of her neck and her whole face is stretched up for some reason. I don't know why, but uh, anyway, she's richer than me, so I'm jealous of that. Right, head back into the village anyway. Some weird stuff's really going on. And it's all to do with Gretchen, I believe. Right, so... So, we've got to basically, with the guitar singer here, we are going to give him the alcohol. And that is the only thing that's going to start him singing. There is a missable achievement, but there also is a lot of waiting. 
So what you need to do when the song starts, you can literally just keep mashing a all the buttons here, A, B, X, and Y. We basically need to start a hundred fireworks. So if you just keep mashing the A, the B, the X, and the Y button, um, as you can see, a lot will just crack on, and then after a while, the Got a Light achievement will uh, unlock for starting a hundred fireworks. So just keep spamming it until the achievement unlocks. And then all you need to do, there's literally like three dialogue options. And there you go, that's how quick we got that one. This song basically lasts about... F <laughs> lasts, it does last about five or six minutes. So, um, again, just keep, keep your eye on it because you do have to choose uh, two or three more dialogue options. Doesn't matter which ones you choose, literally does not matter at all. Uh, but just pick those and wait for the song to... Finish. So that will get you again, like I said, the God of Light achievement, and then when the song's finished, the dot dot dot, then I'll make you mine achievement.
Right, one thing I should say is, for some reason, the achievement did not unlock for me first time. No idea why, and I got no idea what happened. So if that does unfortunately happen for you, uh, just quit out again, quit out to the main menu, continue back into the game, and you will, <laughs> unfortunately, you will restart at the song again, so you'll have to do all of that again. But um, yeah, so just be aware of that one. It didn't unlock first time, but it did the second time there for me. So job done. Right. Exit back to the left, and we're going to go to the weather station, which is in the top left-hand corner, just underneath where it says for a perfect on the postcard. Uh, so what we're going to do, Tannhauser is now automatically going to record the Dick to Me Phone entry, 34 out of 36. And after this one, we're going to hover over the big building, the big obvious-looking building in front of us, and we're going to record that one. That should get you... Um, the achievement for recording all the dictaphone entry, uh, entries uh, called You Remind Me Today of a Small Chihuahua for some reason. Um, but again, if it doesn't, that's fine because we've got an automatic uh, 36 out of 36 one at the very end of the game. So if it doesn't unlock here, it should unlock at the very end of the game because we do technically still have one more dictaphone entry left to go. But if it unlocks here, then well, that's all good. Right, so what we can do now is um, grab the shovel here, which is just stuck in the snow. Even though we managed to get a pickaxe out of rock, apparently we can't get a shovel out of some snow. Um, we actually need to use the vitamin pills, uh, which apparently gives you epic, epic uh, Dwayne Johnson style biceps. So if you're going to accuse anyone of being on steroids, they're probably just on vitamin pills. Okay, okay, right. Once you have used the vitamin pills and you've pulled the shovel out, we can now go ahead and speak to Madonna. The better-looking Madonna, as it were. Hello. So, um, again, it's another story we have to listen to, which is nice. Say, what are you doing here? Top option. And then you're going to say the second option. So, what's the weather up to these days? So, what's the weather up to these days? Second option. So what's the now, for the next two, you can choose any dialogue option you want. That's for the next two options. In September. Winter comes, the north. Oh, come on, there's. Okay. September wins, believe me now. <laughs> we'll make creative. Oh, no. Now we're going to choose, for how long have you been out here? For when winter comes, the north wall crumbles. After this, we can just go ahead, say goodbye, and this will give us the par partly cloudy achievement for listening to Madonna's story. Right, interact here with, look at the icy tank to the left. Uh, we're going to ask Madonna about it. And then what we can do is try to use the Pteranodon, the Pteranodon on it. There we go, so try and use it. It should be in your inventory. There it is. And then after this, what we can do is go ahead, speak to Madonna again, and then just choose the option, could I sponge some helium off you, please, SpongeBob? And then after that, just say yes. So can I sponge some helium? And then yes. Parade. Could I sponge? Well, what exactly? I want to use it as a... As a cooler? You would need to lower it. I think it'll work out. Believe me. I know. After all. So, could you... Uh, I can provide you. Would you mind venturing down to the wood? I can't leave here right now. No one is gone. I'm sitting here. He and then... Aurora Borealis in Truba, bro. In the name of academic merits, I have to help you. <sighs> the guest house, Don. I'll try to remember. And as always, in video games, you've got to do everyone else's crappy jobs for them in order to progress. That's nice. <laughs> <laughs> right, go all the way back to the right-hand side, village, which, of course, it should always be, it always should always start on the village. Uh, we're going to head back into the guest house and talk to Trude. Pie. And, of course, you have to say these specific dialogue options again. So we're going to talk to her and then say, Hi there, I'd like to dispatch a telegram. So I'd like to dispatch a telegram. Now, make sure to choose these numbers. It's 07204. 
So 07204, then 10433, 10433, then 22608, top option, 22608, then 40018, second option, 40018, 18109, bottom option, 18109, then 00030, which is the third option, 00030, and finally 04103, which is the top option, 04103, and that one is done. So, fantastically, what we can do from here is go all the way back to the left, back to the weather station on the postcard map, which again is the top left-hand corner, and talk to Madonna to uh, basically deliver the message, which... Uh, yeah, so let's just go all the way back. Uh, I'm tired. Right, so when we got to the more talented Madonna, say I've got an answer from headquarters. And then basically what she's going to do now is give us a screwdriver. So, one more, I'll give you one more thing. I'll give you a flick to the beanbag, mate. Or a big flick to the nostrils. Everyone seems to have big, fat, schnoz nosed nostrils in this game. I just want to finish. Anyway, uh, we're going to exit to the right once again. And uh, now we're going to head to the lake on the postcard map, which is in the bottom right-hand corner. So right there, the bottom right-hand corner. It's easy stuff that we got to do, but, you know, it's going back and forth. And quite frankly, I cannot be asked. So head slightly right to the booth. You're going to see, like, this little white box right there. So hover over it and use the screwdriver with it. Let's see. Wind direction, temperature. Hmm. Hygrometers aren't supposed to be. Two more weather stations. To... After this bit of pointlessness is done, oh, yeah, I suppose it is point, point, fullness. Uh, go to the village again. And then what we need to do is head all the way over to the guest house again, but head up the steps. We get enough steps in. I tell you what, if we had these Fitbits back in the day, well, I tell you. Old Tannhauser right here would be getting his bloody steps in, mate. So heading up, and as you can see on the building is the next white box. So again, use the screwdriver on that. Let's see. Wind direction. It's pretty windy up temperature. Only one weather station. Right, head back down. We are going to go all the way to the left, again, go onto the postcard map, and then finally we're going to go to El Swampo. This chapter does come to an end eventually, by the way. So remember the bottom left-hand corner, that is where the swamp is. And then what you will see is if we walk slightly right, you'll find the final weather station just in amongst the trees. Maybe a little bit uh, tricky to spot, but there it is, right above that one tree. So go ahead, use the screwdriver again. I bet she doesn't come out here on a regular basis. Let's see, wind direction, temperature. Now, before leaving, very important here, we are going to use the shovel on the glowing patch. Because again, if you do see a, gr a, a green glowing patch, now this always seems to happen with like alien invasions and stuff, doesn't it? If aliens were going to... Uh, come down. Surely they come down where everybody can see them and everyone's like, damn, bruh. But it's always that one person. They just seem to find one person. Oh, the whole men in black thing and oh, all those conspiracy theories. You know what? I love it, though. I absolutely love all the conspiracy theories about aliens and stuff. Uh, <laughs> it's just so fascinating. Anyway, use the leaden trophy there on the big space rock uh, to pick that up. That is actually one of the components we need for that lazy guy, Taffy Head, who's just chilling on our bed still while we go and do all the work, douchebag. So interact with the boat, and you are going to use the postcard map to return to the weather station. So again, top, top left-hand corner, go back to the weather station. 
and talk to Madonna again and then say, I think I've got your measurings, yeah? And uh, 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 not your bra measuring. Sorry, should point that out. Yee. Hello? Good morning. I think I've got your measurings. Oh, that's incredible. Can you smell the Nobel Prize? I've got to take a closer look. And then apparently off she just goes, like um, like the film Up. Just like little Carl and that little chunky boy. Off she goes, apparently. Uh, right, so now we can use the Pterodon, whatever the hell it is, uh, with the helium balloon, with the... Another component. With the icy tank, that's what I was trying to say. So once we have used the Pteranodon on the helium tank, we can go right, go back into the village. And again, um, we are going to head towards the guest house, but... Uh, as you can see on the central platform, there is an accordion there. So that is what we're going to do. We're going to collect that accordion and then head right into the guest house again. Perfect. Another component for the quantum discriminator. And once we're inside, what we're going to do is use the screwdriver once again on the TV. Sorry, Truda, I've only been here for a day or two, but don't mind me just taking apart your TV. Um, so we can now interact with it to collect a brown tube. Brown tube. So after this one is done, we should now have all components. And we can just go ahead and go upstairs to our bedroom. Almost finished chapter four, finally. Uh, but basically, all we've got to do now, when we get here, there is a rotating machine, as you can see, just to our right. All you need to do is put all the items on there. It will go back and forth to a cutscene with Gretchen. Um, so, yeah, all you're going to do then is we're going to use what we're using first. So use the brawn tube on it first, the orange spiky ball, then Pteranodon, then Accordion, then Space Rock. And then there'll be a final scene with Gretchen. Chapter 4 is done. 10 minute chapter 5. Yes! Right, another pinch of calcium? Great idea. That's it. We're halfway through. Only two pieces and counting. Core temperature at 15 million degrees Fahrenheit. Check. That should work. Neat. Almost there. One piece to go. Synchronized tachyon impulses. Uh -huh, yes, check. Woo, yes. I'll try with this one. That's it. Hans, we got it. The Quantum Discriminator. <laughs> Projectory matrix, check. Ha! It's working. All right, then, guys, let's finish this. A chap that did seem like it went on forever. Right, head all the way to the left, and then what you're going to do is just there's four of the characters here. Speak to all four. Uh, you only need to say one thing to them. They'll fade away. Then you just need to interact with the hexagon. Um, 
which will appear out of the water. And then we can nip on through and save the day. Flub, yeah. Coming again to save the mother flipper day, yeah. America. Barbarossa. Remember the spr- Can you see the wheel? What was that? Barbarossa. Ouch, that's not- We're not gonna get this door opened. Okay, so once we're here then, um, we can go ahead and talk to Captain Barbosa. So interact with the leftmost computer stack here this time in the room. And uh, Captain Barbosa will, well, he'll sort of be alive. But anyway, the door will open. The red lit door in the alcove will open. So we can now interact with it. Head through for the final boss fight. It's not really a boss fight, but you know, it's all good. So... Gretchen's going to talk, and of course, she's going to talk a lot. Didn't I suggest settling your horses? Gretchen, please, listen to us. You better make haste, guys, or else... But all this gentleman wants is to get back home, through the portal. Oh, well, this thing has barely enough juice left for one more leap, and that will be mine. Sucks to be you. We can't let you go on like this. Can't you see? You are destroying everything around you. Oh, I couldn't care less. As if there was anything worth preserving in this rat hole. What's wrong with you? I never thought you could be like that. And that's exactly where you were wrong, Bambi. You don't even have the slightest idea of the immense power this portal yields. My life's work. All these years of searching and poof, there it is. You even let me right here, you stupid oaf. Oh, let me tell you, if my mother could see me now. Your mother? My mother. I'm only going to fill you in so you don't have to die in ignorance. But if you still didn't get it, I'll take it slow for you. My mother built this facility. All of this is her work. She is the Millennium Cooperative. I'm going to head out and find her on the other side, and you ain't gonna stop me. I understand you, but does that justify taking the whole world with you? We have to find another way, Gretchen. What's in this world for me anyway? I don't care. It has brought me nothing but pain and sorrow. Where I am going, another world awaits. Many other worlds. We can't let this happen. Ma'am, step back from the console before things get dirty. Okay, boys. Enough is enough. I warned you. Dolores will now take navigational control. Acknowledged, Gretchen. Navigational control on. Dolores challenge phase one. Head her up and move her out. Power stride. Right, so thank you, Taft. Once Taft begins to be our uh, guide that gets beaten the crap out of, apparently she loses all the focus and attention on us, which comes in handy. So what we need to do then, when he starts doing that, we are going to use the Quantum Discriminator on the portal. So again, obviously hover over the portal and then use the only item that you've got left, which is the Quantum Discriminator. Now, a couple of ghost figures are going to appear here. What we need to do is interact with and look at the central one, which is inside the bubble. So look at that, and you will apparently just go straight inside there. Interact here with the rightmost computer, the smaller computer. So interact with that one. And that is basically going to break the portal. Very, very easy. Don't worry, again, apparently she loses all focus and attention on us, which is all good. Use the quantum discriminator on the portal once again. And then what you're going to do is interact with the left ghostly figure this time. I don't know how this is working. If any, if there are any quantum physicists playing this game and they love achievements, please let me know how the hell this is possible. So we need to go ahead and interact with the two glass pieces on this side. There's one. Walk over to the left to find the next one. 
And then you're going to use the Quantum Discriminator on the portal again. And, uh, and then this time we're going to look look at the right ghostly figure. So the very right hand side one. To get over to uh, obviously close to the portal. So that's what we need to do. And then, of course, you just need to interact with all of the three glass pieces, which are right in front of us. So make sure to interact with and pick them all up. Interact with the... Um, use the Quantum Discriminator again on the portal. And this time we're going to you uh, look at the central ghostly figure. So we're going to return inside the bubble again. Interact with the final glass piece. There we go. Now, what you need to do is interact with the rightmost computer again. And what should happen now is that the portal should change. Now, for some reason, the portal didn't change. And then I had to go through the whole process. Well, the process of going back in it again. So make sure that, as you can see, the pictures in the portal are changing. Once they are doing, we are going to use the Quantum Discriminator again, one last time. Look at the Rightly Ghost figure to get the hell out. And we can just walk straight into the portal again. You can only do this once you have changed the scene on the right hand most computer. Um, now, there is the figure of Gretchen, basically just underneath the Modius Plast sign. Uh, you actually need to hover over her first of all. There she is with all the gear on. Uh, so in... So look at it first, and then we can interact with it. Almost there now. Almost there now, gorgeous and gals. So interact with it, push her over, so for some reason, somehow her suit's all like... Which obviously means broken in normal language. Although Taft has taken a hell of a beating, in all fairness. Right, now what we can do, um, we're going to use the Quantum Discriminator on Gretchen. Now, she's going to... Uh, randomly go to uh, random places where you need her is where she is right now in front of the portal again she's going to go in random places so just keep using the quantum discriminator on her until she's in front of the portal then interact with the left hand side most computer and captain barbosa will come and save the day knock her into the portal and that is goodbye my lover and then for the final two achievements of the game, we've just got two endings to unlock, but we can get them in one playthrough, thank flumpingly. I think she didn't really mean it. I feel sorry for her. Otherwise, she may have to goodbye. Barbarossa! That was probably too... Those circuits had it going. Thanks, Barbarossa. Skull. Thank you, Hans. Lazar, will we meet again? That I can't, but I would like you to know... Which is why I feel particularly... But I still have so many... This is my life! I may have answers for you, but if I come with you... To the great beyond, the big empty, the nether realm, the eternal darkness, into the void? Yes, I really mean... That would be so fun. Let's journey to the star. But how can I... Just come. Don't let you... Let me... Oh, I promise it would grant you a... Please... So you can go ahead and choose anyone you want first. I'm just going to choose Stay Behind. And that will unlock Hans Tanhauer... Uh, Hans Tannhauser's final response, so choose stay behind. Again, you can choose whichever one you want. Quit, go out to the main menu, come back in, and just choose the other option. That's fine. Um, so basically, once the achievement unlocks, you can either let the credits roll, but again, those these credits cannot be skipped, so you'll be waiting a good five, six minutes. Or when the achievement does unlock, we are going to... Um, Quit completely out of the game and go back to the Xbox dashboard by quitting it out. But there's so much left to do here. I'm sorry. Ah, there it is. So once that is done, we can now just uh, completely quit out to the Xbox dashboard. Um. Now, if the dictaphone entry uh, achievement, you remind me today of a small chihuahua, didn't unlock earlier... Um, you will automatically get this one regardless. So, again, unfortunately, we'll have to do this small little section again, so you just have to use the Quantum Discriminator on her again. Again, she will pop in random locations until she gets stands it on the steps in front of the portal. So just keep going and then do the same thing you've done, only this time you're going to choose the Leave option or the opposite of what you picked last time. Damage! 
She's probably going to be lost in that network. I think she didn't really. I feel otherwise she. Barbara. That was problems. Thanks. Thank. Lazarus. Will we? That I. But I. Wait. But I. St this is. I may come with to the grip. The bit. The never the edge into the. Yes, that's so, this is the end of another game guide. Thank God it's free, because personally, I would not have paid twenty-five quid for this one. It's a very good game, don't get me wrong, but not 25 quid. That That's pretty much the equivalent of paying £8 for a stupid screensaver game where you can't even interact with a cat, and you've got to watch a stupid crappy cat for 16 minutes for a thousand crappy gamer score. Um, but yeah, it's about the same equivalent, but actually this game was actually fun. But anyway, there we go then, guys and gals. The achievement will unlock, so you should now be on 34 out of 34 achievements. So if you want to have a double check, do it now. And there we go. So, thank you so, so much for watching, guys and gals. I do hope you enjoyed the game. I hope you enjoyed the guide as well. If it helped, of course, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and share with a friend as well. A big shout out, as always, to my Patreon supporters. Absolute legends. Thank you so, so much. And, uh, yeah, well, that's it. I shall see you in the next one, guys and gals. Big le 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 love. <coughs> love.